Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of place value and how we can use place value to compare numbers and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So before we get started, let's just take a look at some of the symbols we're going to use. So these are the three symbols that we're going to use when we compare numbers. And this first one is a less than symbol. And if you can't keep the less than and the greater than symbols separate, the second one is our greater than, what you could do on the less than is you can see that it's kind of a capital L just tilted a little bit. The greater than symbol doesn't make a capital L. It's facing the wrong direction. And then finally we have equal to. So if we wanted to compare two numbers, let's say 373 and let's say 98. How can we compare those two numbers? Well, before we just look at which has the largest digits, because obviously 98 has the largest digits, 9 and 8, we need to line these up so we can look at them with each place value compared to each other. So typically what we'll do is we'll put them vertically on top of each other like this. I'm just going to make a little chart just so I can keep track of which place value I'm looking at. This is the hundreds, this is the tens, and this is the ones. So I've got 373, that's my 373, 98 is 9 tens, and then 8 ones. When we are comparing numbers, we always start with the largest place value of either number. In this case, it's the 3. And so the 3 is in the hundreds place. And I compare that with the hundreds in the 98, and as you can see, there's nothing there. If I had to put a number, I could put 0, but that would look a little bit strange. But we could. So we have to compare which is bigger, the 3 or the 0. Well, the 3 is bigger, which means this 373 is larger than the 98. So the opening of the less than or greater than symbol always goes towards the larger number. So in this case, we're going to use the greater than symbol. So when we read it from left to right, we say 373 is greater than 98. You can also use the word larger. You could say 373 is larger than 98. Either of those work. Let's look at a different example. Now we have two new numbers, 407 and 470. As you can tell, they each use the same three digits, 4, 7, and 0. They just kind of mix up where the 0 and the 7 goes. How can we compare these two numbers? Well, once again, let's go ahead and draw our hundreds, tens, and ones charts. And we're going to line these two numbers up vertically. That means one on top of each of each other. So 4, 0, 7, 4 hundreds, 0 tens, 7 ones, and then 4, 7, 0, 4 hundreds, 7 tens, 0 ones. As always, you begin with the largest place value of either number. In this case, both numbers have a digit in the hundreds place, 4, but they're equal. So if your largest place value digit is the same with both numbers, they're both equal, then you need to look at the next largest place value. In this case, it is the tens place. We're going to go to the tens place. And that's where we see our difference. We have a 0 and a 7. So we're going to say that our 7, that's the largest. Our 7 is larger than the 0. And it really doesn't matter if you look at the ones place that this 0 is smaller than the 7. Once you've figured out which one is bigger in the place value, it doesn't matter if the digits to the right in the 1 place are smaller or larger. So the 7 is going to be larger, so 470 is my larger number. We need to make the opening always go to the larger number. So we would read 407, and we would say is less than, because remember this is the less than symbol, because it's turning to the right, facing the right, is less than, or we can say is smaller than, if you wanted to, 470. So that's how we use place value, always starting with the largest place value first, and then moving to the right when comparing two numbers.